everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hey, do you want to see if it's possible to make your own stencils using a Sizzix Big Shot and some random acetate plasticky stuff that I found? Let's try this. Probably not a new idea. Somebody's probably already done it and they probably already know if this works or not. But okay, so let's see what I have to play with. I have, um, you know, these pocketed things for pictures. We're going to try that. Uh, we might get two out of the, I don't know, maybe because we're punching it twice. This is some kind of weird, shiny, plasticky stuff on some weird, shiny, plasticky stuff. I, I guess it's a big pocket of some sort. I don't know. I just save this stuff and I'm thinking one day I'll use it. I would think that maybe a little firmer piece might be good. And I have this, you know, one of these things that you put important papers in. It's a little bit thicker. This is probably very vintage or old because it's um, it's got a yellow cast to it. And um, here's probably a newer one. Is this open up sideways too? You can, you can do this, Pam. Go ahead, show them how you can open it. Okay, I will now demonstrate opening the plastic thingy. Oh yeah, oh, you know what this is? This sounds like it's from a uh, photo album. You know, one of those photo albums that you peel back and then you put the pictures down on the white cardboard thing and then seal this over. We're gonna try that too, see if that works. Okay, so I have, I dusted off this. This is my collection of dies. I don't even know which ones I'm supposed to use, but I'm going to look for some simple designs just to make some simple stencils because I know going into these complicated designs just causes mayhem. Here's a simple design, or at least it does for me. Let's find some. That's kind of pretty. See, now I do this. I start going, hey, that's pretty. Let's try that. Okay, let's go deep and see what is actually in here. I haven't played with this. I got this at a thrift store. Don't know how to use it. Um, oh, now these are cool. See, I totally forgot about these. These are pre-cut vinyl magnets. Now I have decorated magnets before. I had a big magnet sheet. Actually, I store my dies on magnet sheets. It's a great way to store them. Um, then I thought I had some extra magnetic sheets and I thought, well, I'll just make some magnets and decorate them. Maybe put a you know pretty picture or book page or something on the front. These are already pre-cut. How cool is that? Look, I spent a whopping buck. Yep. Um, Got to use those. Totally forgot I had those. Great. Glad I went into this drawer. Okay. Here are some other simple designs. Here's a bigger flower. We'll go with you. You seem innocuous. A cloud. Okay. Because I guess a few things can fit on a page, right? Um, how about this flower? Questionable. A little more intricacy. We'll give you a go and see how you do. We should just try one first. Oh, look. Here's a die cut. Oh, there you go. Okay, um, and I have like pages of these things. Of course, they're all, you know, ignored. Collecting, these are the complicated ones. Oh my God, so pretty. So complicated to use for me. Uh, what else do I got in here? I got all sorts of stuff. You know when, yeah, you got to go buy them all, Pam, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's just put these over here and just go simple. Let's just try simple first. Okay, let me see if I can go a little closer for you because you get better vision. All right, here's the whole machine. This is the, I can't see it, but this, it cranks like this. There's, there's no electric. This is back from prehistoric times. And the whole trick is you have to put a bunch of these things to layer up enough thickness so there's enough pressure so the thing cuts. That's the whole goal. Okay, well, let's figure this out again. Do we need this big thing? Maybe. Okay, we'll try that. And we know we're going to need the top thing, which always looks weird after a while, but it's not bad for it. It just looks weird because you do a lot of cuts into it. Okay, I'll probably do this all wrong because it's been a hundred years. And let me go with the one I feel like is going to work the best. Now this is a two-sheeter. Maybe I should just do one sheet and I'm going to have to cut it so it fits. So get some scissors. Now you could use your guillotine cutter, which is right there at the ready, but it's covered in stuff. Great, great, Pam. Great. All right, actually, let's cut like this. That looks like about halfway. I think that's going to fit. Then I think I'm going to, I'm just going to cut the spine off. So we just have one real we have one single sheet to work with i have to take this part okay i have one single piece of acetate and you can get acetate from packaging things like that you don't have to buy acetate you're going to find acetate's going to pop up everywhere and yes it magically fits in the device we are good okay now so let's just do something simple like this big flower let's just do that first that's going to go on top right am i doing this right what is this a magnetic board or something yeah, okay. I don't know. Maybe we don't need that. Let's not go complicated. Let's keep it easy. Easy and breezy. And let's check thickness. Okay, we're going to put this in because I think we need more thickness than I have. And then we'll try the topper. Okay. We'll put you in there. 
All right, let's just see. Is that thick enough? No, there's no, it has to be more thick. More thickness. Give me more thickness. What do I need? Do I have to bring in this? Maybe. Oh, no, I have another thing. Here's another thing. Maybe I was supposed to put this underneath. That's to receive the bottom punch. Let's try that underneath. Here, let's put that. Oh, don't. Oh, Pam, get organized. All right, taking that out. Where's my, oh, oh goodness gracious. Okay, put that there. Put the plastic down. Put the die cut on the plastic. Here's a thicker thing to make it thicker. Apparently you can use, you can use like book covers and stuff like that too. I've seen people do that to make it thicker. Okay, and then the top, let's see if it's thick enough now. Mrs. Thickness Sally Pants. It's not, it's here, let me get everything organized. Okay, it has to be even. And we're going through. Oh, oh, I think, yeah. Okay, eh, maybe it's too easy. Oh, I heard something. Something cut. Maybe we're good though. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Drum roll. Bum, bum, bum. Ba. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, it's partially cut. I needed more cutness. It made a, like, I got the, you can't see it. I got the shape, but it didn't cut all the way through. Okay, that's a big failure flopperoo. But let's try it again with more thickness. That's what we need. We need more thickness. I'm gonna have to use that extra piece of something. Maybe we'll put it underneath here. And we'll try this. Maybe that's gonna be too thick. Often I'll go from not thick enough to too thick. You gotta find the right happy place. Oh, I think this is too thick. Yeah, it's too thick. Okay, we're gonna take out middle of the road guy. Oh, now there came out the plastic. And there went the die. Where are you? Here you come here. Come here, I gotcha. All right, let's try that again. There, we're gonna put you in a new place. Hopefully it won't move. Plastic, die, put your die facing down. The sharp edge down. Um, and then we put this. And we go again. This is the way it goes. Yeah. I mean, probably the whole cry cut thing. You probably, you guys are like, oh, she's so old school. It's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, wait. No, I'm not. I'm not. There we go. Get all my thicknesses together. Okay, are we going? Oh, it's too thick. Are you too thick? Is that what you're trying to? Yeah, you're too thick. You're just too thick. All right, so let's take out. Let's take out. What can we take out? This. We'll just take out that one. Now see if you're too thick. Not thick enough. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I don't understand what I have to do here. This is why, yes, this is a big failure flopperoo. This is a failure flopperoo. Let's see what well, we can make a success out of this. Here we have that, that, and that was not the right thickness. We'll go to three, we'll try again. I always hear some cracks. Let's see if that went. Let me go back again. Maybe I need to go over it again. And if that doesn't work, I'm just going to make it a little thicker with something else. Maybe I'll have to use some auxiliary piece of something whatnot. Oh, I just cut into that. That's probably bad. Oh, thin a die adapter. Huh. I cut right into it. Oh, well. Oh, no, this is not working. This is definitely not working. I either have to use something thicker or this is just not working. So we're going to try the other piece. And I probably destroyed that. Okay. I don't know how that's supposed to work. It's probably go, it's supposed to go underneath something. And I didn't, you know what it is. That's why you probably have these two plastic plates that are designated for the cutting surfaces. And you don't want to cut into something important like this, which I really have no idea what this is. Um, but let's go ahead and try again. Okay, here we go for round two. That's Holly. It's very excited that we're on the cutting edge of God knows what. I had one that was already pre-trimmed. Where are you? Here you are. Okay, here it is again. Maybe this is a thin die cut. Maybe that's what, why I'm working with thinness here. Let me get some walking in a circle. Let me get some book pages. You know, when you don't know what to do, sometimes book pages will fit perfectly as a thickener. So we're going to try that. Okay, put that there. We'll put this here. Okay. And now we're going to use book pages to thicken it. Let's see if we're the right thickness now, Sally Pants. Here we go. It feels thicker. I'm feeling thickness. I'm having resistance, which is what you want because you're punching through. This is probably a video on how not to use your Sizzix Big Shot. Oh, let's see if it worked. 
Okay. Taking off the top sheet. There's the die cut. Yeah, no, didn't work. Eh, no, it's like, it's making a cut. I don't know if you can see the shape. It's just not cutting through. It's just not cutting through. Very disappointed. All right, we're gonna try. We have the right thickness now, I think, but we're gonna try a different piece of plastic. Like maybe some of this stuff, this, you know, picture sleeve plastic stuff. Let's try that. Let's see if that works. Let me cut a piece of this out. Should I leave it double thickness or should I go only single thickness? Let me try double thickness. I know, I just, I don't know. Let's just amp it up a little bit. Okay, here. And now let's try, where's that flower? Yeah, if I can't get a flower. Now, you know you can use your negatives as stencils. Just saying, if you have pipe paper punches, you could skip all this. Mm -hmm. All right, got that down. Now I got this top layer, so it's only sandwiched in between the two cutting pieces. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna put my extra thickness in there. Okay, that's good. And we're going through. Sounds thick and crunchy, which is what we want. Yeah, boy, there's a lot of work to get one flower. Oh my gosh, okay, here we go. Okay, I took those off. And what'd we get? We did a double. Does the double help us better to get a cut? Let's see what we get. No, we got nothing, we got the same thing. Yeah, okay, so that doesn't work. No, it doesn't even pop out. It's there, can you see it? It's there but it's just impressed, it's not popped out. This is a big fail. There are probably better places and ways to do this. This is not one of them, but I want you to know that I'm, I'm doing this for the team so that you don't have to. That's right. I'll try one more piece of plastic, this rigid plastic. Well, it's not rigid, but it's rumply. I don't know why I'm thinking this might make a difference. If you have any tips or tricks on how this might work better, please share. Um, Maybe I need thicker. Maybe, huh? Maybe that's the whole problem. It's not thick enough. Okay, let me put that down. That's the right way. More book page? More book page. Bring out the book page. Here we go. More book page. More book page. Okay, will this work? Nobody knows. Oh, you're probably going, no, it's not going to work, Pam. You're, you're just being silly. Okay, there's extra book page. Here's the original book page minus a little bit because it fell off. Okay, here we go. Line everybody up. And we're going through. That's nice and, yeah, good pressure. Everything should work. In my head, it works. In actuality, we shall see. And here we go, the big reveal. Here it is. Yeah, nothing. It just makes a, a pressure thing into the acetate. So, how Not to Make Stencils by Pam at the Paper Outpost. Yeah, that was that was fascinating. That was just great and dandy. Okay, so let's do a great backup here on, since we're in the stencil mode and we would like to make our own stencils, but we're failing miserably, but we're not gonna let that stop our fun. Oh, no, no, no. We're still gonna make some stencils. And let's just, let's just do it an easy way. I think we've done this before together. Um, we can either use washi tape or we can use, um, let's go with little skinny washi tapes, thick washi tapes, thin washi tapes. It's all good. All right, here we go. Grab yourself a book page. We're going to get a stencil. No, am I going to? Yes. We're going to get a stencil before this day is out. Come here, come down to me. Let's take a book page. Since we already pulled you out, we're going to put you to good use. This is from the Heartthrobs book that we worked on a while back. And uh, you are just going to become my palette today. Yes. And we have a big, a big piece of, whoop, there you go. You get these ripped off pieces and let's just work with that. Let's, let's create a tree. Let's just create a tree. And I guess this is going to give us uh, the negative design. We're going to work with this and distress things. Just for fun. We're just goofing. This is um, uh, just playful times. Playful, playful very playful. So this is masking tape. This is the original washi tape. That's right. It's a low tack tape and you can have a lot of fun with it basically in your crafting. So hopefully it won't tear the page. This is an old book page. It might. I'm just going to make a tree-like shape. Can you see that? I'm going for old crook 
crookedy, you know, weird looking tree. Yeah, okay, Holly, got that. And uh, he's down with that, that's good. Oh, so maybe get going off in that direction and just use these little pieces up. They could be coming off any which way here. It doesn't really matter. Trees are, they grow all different directions and do stuff. Now, let's get the power tool. And that would be, where's my dauber box? Oh, here it is. I would say the power tool of today is going to be this thing. It's a paddle brush. They're makeup brushes or craft brushes, but they're very densely packed brushes, which stencil like nobody's business. All right, so let's grab some juicy ink pad. I don't know how juicy this is, but we'll try. This is vintage photo, if you're wondering. Okay. And we're just going to do this. We're going to lightly go around. Okay. I think we'll have some fun with the uh, inks. We'll, we'll, we'll do a little extra with the inks today. we have some fun. Yeah. This, this girl needs to have some fun today after all that work. Because, you know, sometimes things don't work. And, but you don't know until you try, right? So you just got to get in there and give it a go. Okay, so we got some brown. And let's do some layering of colors. Here's my good old standbys. We have black, pink, blue, and green. Those are good ones. Doesn't matter what their names are. This is peeled paint, broken china, kitsch flamingo, and black soot, in case anybody was wondering. But you, anything will do. All right, so let's. Hello. Let's maybe put some, No, let's not do black. We'll do black last. Right, Pam? That's a good idea. Yeah, let's do some green. Okay, I'm cross-pollinating with the colors. I know you should never do this, right? Oh, well. Okay, just, I'm going to like hew around the tree, get some green going up to the edges a little bit, give it some background color. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. Boy, I hope this tape comes off. Yeah, I hope this tape comes off. That would just be a, a double flopper, right? But that happens also in the craft room. We're okay with that. And let's try another color. Let's go um, wild with the blue. Maybe there's some water behind the tree. Let's do that. I probably have a blue one of these. Should have used that, but didn't. Okay. There's a blue water behind. There we go. There's a little blue water. And, and brown and blue kind of make green, so it could be green grass too. Let's just roll with it. And you can go right over your stencil, it doesn't matter because you're going to peel that off after. And we're again praying that that's going to work. And then we have a little pink. Yeah, a little pink. Okay, so this might be a little intense. Let's get the pink one. That's probably a little too much to put on there with the black and everything. Okay, I think this is the pink one I have. Dedicated pink, pink, burgundy, red. It does all those. I'm just going to do a sun or something in the corner. Just give it a sun hue. Sun hue. Okay. Sun hue. Roundy sun, roundy sun, roundy sun. Very nice. Very nice. Is that, is that good roundy sun? There we go. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay. Yeah, round, 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 round. Okay. Okay, so now we have essence. Essence of design. Now let us do the big peel and reveal. Cross fingers, cross fingers. So far so good. So far so good. Ooh, it's getting scary. Oh, it's like the masking tape is taking off the part of the ink. That's interesting. It's probably some old, lousy 1970s masking tape that I have here. Okay, let's peel that off. And I think the little torn edges kind of look cool. Go gently. Decide if you like the look. There. Oh, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I just, you know, it's kind of, these are fun times at Richmond High. What can we say? Um, and you could decorate from here. Let's see. What else could we do? All right. I'm just totally, I'm goofing around and having fun with you guys today. I hope, I hope you're having fun too. Um, what do I want to do on there? Oh, you know what I'm going to get? I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Oh, what was that? Sunny, are you okay? Yes. I'm fine, mom. You dropped your bone folder. It was my bone folder. It fell out of my little, my little thing. He's fine. I'm going to try a white gel pen just to see what that looks like. First, we'll do a test. A little test to see if the gel pen works. Yeah, it looks kind of weird on the end, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Are you working? I can't tell. You're on pale paper. It would be nice if you, you drew it on darker paper so you could see. Pam, do you have any darker paper? Anything. We'll take anything at this point. All right. I will, I will take. No, not that. This. This will work. Will it? It's not dark. No, that, that won't work. Um, try this. What is this? This is a 2023 calendar. You read on there? No, you're not working at all. 
Now it's working. Now it's working. Oh, that's useless. Hang on. <laughs> All right, I think I found one that worked. I had to go through my, my bucket and find them. So I think this one works. Yep. And in case you know, it's a jelly roll. Number five, Sakura. Yeah, in white. There you go. All right, so I thought we could just like, you know, maybe, oh, you're know, not showing that up at all. That's great, honey. <laughs> I just thought maybe we'd put some leaves or something here. Okay, so it's not, it's just not showing up because that's the way it's going today. That's, this is one of those days where you just muddle through. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so let's try an alternative. What about this? Let's try this. How, when craft supplies go wrong, when go bad, when things just don't, don't work. <laughs> okay, this is a Sharpie paint pen, fine point. No idea how uh, long ago I used this. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, it's got a little bit going, oh, now it's all dry. Now it disappeared. Look at that. I got one little mark in the sky. Who buys this stuff? This stuff doesn't work. You know, this is like those frustrating craft supplies that don't work. This is one of them. Yeah, it works when you first get it, and then it leaves you high and dry. Don't, don't get that. Okay. All right. I've got gelatos and stickles and Nouveau drops and liquid pearls. I'm going for the big guns. I know these will attribute color on here. Where's my paper? Get in there and create. Create, Pam. Create. Okay. Now, in order for a leaf to show up on here, it has to be either darker or lighter than the background. Hmm. We could do a purple leaf. I don't know if I can. Let's see. Um, let's see. No, yeah, just do it. A, a little leaf. Maybe we're just going to put little leaf dots on here. Can you can't, can't even really see this? Can you? Now these are sm this is thick, so I probably need to smudge it a bit. But I am getting some color on here, which is kind of neat. All right, so that's something. We have something that is visible. We are moving up the evolutionary scale. Move all that stuff. Finger tool. This stuff eventually dries. Somebody asked me, won't that smudge? It, it, um, it has the ability to dry. I, I, it's smudgy at first, yes, and then it dries. I don't know why it just does. It does. Okay. Now it's kind of looking like a a cherry blossom or something like that. It's kind of weird, but we went for it and this is what we got. Kind of cool, but it's pretty, right? Nice contrast. Okay, so let's come in big and strong with the stickle kind of stuff. Let's go with, uh... yeah, I know, I hear you. I hear all about it. I got the whole story, Holly. Maybe some golds and coppers going with the, the fall colors, dual tones. All right, let's try maybe that's good, but not huge contrast. I would like some contrast. Go deep, Pam. Find contrast. I'm looking. I'm looking. How about rose gold? Not the most contrast, but I love this color. So yeah, I go to my, my familiar places. Okay, this is some kind of brass green gold. What is it? Can anybody read that? What's that say? I don't have my glasses on. Bronze. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's let's... Here, I, this is definitely going to show, but maybe that's too light. Oh, I can't, I can't make up my mind. Okay, it's, well, that's kind of the fun, isn't it? Yeah, why am I rushing? Settle down. It's okay. It's all good. Um, we do have some pretty stickles. They would look nice. Okay. Maybe, maybe it does need sparkle. Maybe not. These are tough decisions and not that color. I don't like that color. I'm going back to the copper. I think copper is going to be pretty. Let's just go with it. And um, let's see if it shows up at all. i just put a dot. Oh, one dot and it showed up. I can see that. Okay. Um, maybe you, just, you can draw with this stuff, which is kind of nice. A little leaf. A little leaf. It's kind of like a little... These leaves are weird. But I think you get the idea. You can, you can hang little leaves. Almost like I'm, I'm decorating a Christmas tree at this point, but it's not. It's a nature... Christmas tree. This won't show up because it's too dark, but I can put it in the purple. It'll show up a little bit. All right, so maybe there's going to be some leaves at the bottom here. I, I'm in the shot. No, not at all. No. Oh, yeah, this is going so well. Would you like to um, demonstrate how not to do a video? <laughs> this would be it, um, but still have fun. That's the thing. Okay, maybe do some sideways. We've got some leavies down here. Just in a pile, just sitting here in front of the tree. Maybe there's some in front of the tree. That would make sense. Yeah, okay. 
pile of leafies. Now this is going to be like a random pile, so it might look a little odd, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> you got a lot to say about this, don't you, Holly? Okay, just a random pile of leaves at the bottom. There we go. Now this is going to be one of those put it aside to dry projects. Let's just go to town. I mean, it's only a piece of paper, right? You know, how bad could it be? Let's bring in some stickles. All right, we've got some gold stickles here. I wonder if you're still working. You're called sandstone. Stickles is glitter glue, okay? This is, feels like I've used it a lot. This is made by Ranger. All right, let's see if we can get some. Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm just going to maybe enhance the shape of this tree a little bit. Maybe just do some random dots. Maybe I shouldn't do, maybe, maybe I need more like, Dots everywhere. Yeah, maybe I'll just put dots everywhere. Like, we don't know. These are maybe like the, the little knots and the, the, like the war wounds that the... Let's just stick all the whole thing because that's fun. Um, this, this tree now has glitter freckles. Yeah, there we go. I like that. And it's fun. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I keep hiding it from you. I know this is a masterpiece of all masterpieces, isn't it? I think it's a pregnant tree. It looks like it's going to give birth to little baby trees or something. <laughs> um, but just saying that that is one way to make a stencil. The negative, if you put down masking tape, you can do better than me. Um, where are we at? We might be able to make one more. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it with the... Uh, okay, let's use the page. Can you find a flat page? That would be awesome. Let's find a flat page so we have something to play with. Okay. Let's try washi tape this time, and let's just <clears throat> let's just do like geometric patterns. We don't have <clears throat> to think. <laughs> we don't want to have to think so much. Okay. And maybe we'll try using just gelatos on top and see how that works. And it's a great way to use up your gelatos if they're just collecting dust in your drawer because they're fun to play with. And sometimes we forget we have them. And let's... Again, use what we have, and, it, it, you know, this will probably even, I mean, I don't, you could probably use regular crayons, but you'd have to color over the whole thing and then pull the tape away. Where are my crayons? I have crayons. I don't know where they are. Um, but, but the gelato will allow you to smudge. Okay, that's enough of that. Where you can't do that as easily with a regular crayon but you can still put down pigment with a regular crayon. Never snub a regular crayon. C regular crayons have value. They do in art. They are pigment. They are waxy pigment. And if you think of them like that and not a child's toy, you'll start to see a lot of possibilities. Yeah, you just have to take off the... Um, don't... Just think of things differently. Just like ask yourself, how else can I use this? What else can I do? Okay, we're going in with the, with the stickles. Okay, now let's make sure these are all down. You be down. You be down. Okay, here's one. Okay, now, I don't know what is going to happen. Let me give you a good view so you can actually see what's going on. Maybe we'll get this way. Everybody out of the way, out of the way. I don't know. Oh, boy, this is going to be... Yeah, let's try smudging that first, see if I know what, you, what I'm talking about. Using the heat from my finger. It does allow you to smudge, okay? And you can take that color to the edges. A little more messy. A little more cumbersome, but there is a fun factor involved with the smudgeruma going on here. There's a smudgeruma, not a smudgeruma. Um, here's another one. I don't know what the difference in these are. They're all Faber Castell. Um, okay, put some light color down. You can always add more. You can always add more. Just color it on there. Do what you're gonna do, and then you get finger tool and you smudge. Yeah, there you go. We've got a little green there. We can keep smudging that down somewhere. Okay. I feel like I, I was a little shy on the pink there. Like, go, it's okay to go bold. Go bold. Get it down. Get the pigment down. It's okay. And then smudge. Yeah, smudge. And just make sure your, your washi stays in place. Yeah, I guess that's the biggest thing. All right, let's use another color. Oh, we do the purple this time. I did like we're playing with the purple. Um, okay, yeah, and that, that's a nice creamy one. I don't know what's special about this. This is a gelato. Uh, I think it's a grape. Concord grape. Is that what it is? Can you read that? Why have I still not grabbed my uh, glasses? 
Maybe maybe these are not as good as I think. You know, these artworks are not as good as I think they are. But I just think they are because I don't have my glasses on. That could be. I better grab my glasses. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Okay, she's putting on her glasses. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, well, whatever. And so we have that. Maybe I just, I'll just do a repeating design. How about that? Okay, lots of green. Getting lots of pink. Here we go. Now we're fast crafting. Get lots more pink. This pink doesn't want to, uh, maybe it's old and dried up or something. I don't know. I don't think these things dry up. I think they just, they remain inert for their, their existence, the rest of their existence. Okay. Whoop, no, gotta take the cap off. Gotta take the cap off. All right, put the, put the pigment down. Put the pigment down. Okay. There are probably better ways to make stencils, right? Yeah. Okay. Rubbing, smearing, having fun. Rubbing, smearing, co-mingling the colors, not caring, not washing the finger off, but you could if you want pure or, or just stencil away. I feel like this is eyeshadow, like cream eyeshadow. I'm sure you could somehow use that too. Okay, here we go. We have that. We have a dirty finger. We have an, a wet nap. Oh, look at that. We have a green finger now. Yeah, that's how fast it can happen, folks. Ready? The big reveal peel. We'll start from the little end. Oop, it tore. <laughs> Maybe I pushed down too hard. It does take away some of the wording on there. I guess this is extra strong masking tape. Oh, I think a trick would be put it on your jeans. Like if you're peeling off a piece of masking tape or washi tape, put it on your jeans first and pick up some of the lint off your, your clothes and then put it down and it won't stick as strong. Yeah, that's the, the trick out of that, which I forgot about. Okay. But this looks kind of cool. I like it. This is a nice background page. This could be used for making cards or collage or something like that, or um, punches. You could punch and, and make some cool things out of that. So here we have this made with gelatos um, and our own little homemade stencil with washi tape. So there you go. Um, I hope you had fun. It's always an adventure. We never know what's going to happen here at the Paper Outpost. And um, that was today. So where's the other one? Where's the, where'd it go? Here it is. Okay, this is look, very fancy, very fancy and very, very colorful. There you go. Um, I hope you're having fun. Remember that there's 25% off in my merchandise shop, which is uh, t-shirts, sweatshirts, zip, ho zip hoodies, um, mugs, totes, and water bottles with Create with Reckless Abandon or Everything is a Craft Supply until proven otherwise for the month of November. And um, if you're new, welcome aboard. If you're um, not new, <laughs> uh, thank you for being here. Uh, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. If you don't know about that, um, you get a free digital image emailed to you every month and um, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, a page list of ideas to give you some inspiration, a junk journal supply list, updates from me, junk journal tips, peeks at my digi kits, and all sorts of other fun things as I think of them. And um, I have an Etsy shop where you can find journals and bundles, uh, digi kits, which are themed printables that you can uh, print out and use in your junk journals. Uh, I try and make them easy to cut for you. Um, I also have a print and mail service. If you don't like to print, I will print 10 digi kits out for you for a flat fee and that's uh, free priority shipping included. Just order the print and mail option and then send me a list of the 10 digi kit names that you want. I only need the first two or three words and um, you can send it to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com or right through Etsy message, you can send me the list. And I have the merchandise shop, which is the t-shirt shop. I told you about the links are down below. Uh, the video and also uh, the podcast that comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays and it's audio and then on the other days of the week I publish video podcasts and they are viewable on Spotify and you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook and Facebook group and Sunny, do you have something to say? Well, I'm, I'm, it's, okay, what are you doing mom? What are you doing? Okay, you've never done this before. What are you doing mom? All right, I would like to present to you the reality of everything. Yep. This is it, the reality of everything. He's in his little cozy bed. <clears throat> I'm, in my, I'm being rotated. Oh, okay. Whoop, whoop, a little unsure here, a little unsure. Everything's fine. Mom's not going to drop you in the stickles. Okay, everybody, just want to say hello. Everything is dandy. Apparently, I didn't even have to leave my bed. I'm just sleeping. I'm continuing to sleep upside down. Yes, and all is well. My little paws are right here. Yep, there. Everything is present, accounted for. Um, happy crafting, and um, have a lot of fun today. Okay, bye. Okay, that was very quick, short and succinct. And you didn't even have to leave your little cozy bed. Yeah, 
there you go. <laughs> All right, everybody, you have fun, create with reckless abandon, and I will see you next time. Bye.